Well, first of all, let us uh, look at my president. You know, I can see you are really pushing him. But let me tell you this. My president is a Kalenjin man, and I'm saying this with all humility. And I understand the Kalenjin culture. He's so embedded in it that sometimes uh, it, it hinders him. Yes, he appreciates women, he appreciates what we do, but that hinders him to look through. And that's the biggest challenge we face. Because you look, well, how many women governors are in Kenya Kwanza? The highest. And the other thing he appreciates when women struggle and get it for themselves. He will respect you. Trust me, that's him. And we can't blame him. The people I'll start blaming now are the women he has given opportunities to do the things that we are talking about now. Does it mean they have killed your voice? Does it mean you are unable to come out and push this agenda? Does it mean you are pushing and the president is not listening? If so, we, we are here. Throw it back to us and say, look, I have tried this agenda and I can see. And it's not just the president. Because, you know, even the president, when, sometimes when you look at his seat, it does not click in him, there are no women there. Did you have expectations that Gashagwa's replacement will be a woman? No, because I knew by the time they were doing these things, you remember they kept on saying we had agreed it was Kindiki. So why would you come inside? And anyway, why would you come in that mess as a woman if you really want to move? Wait for 2027 and there now keep the promise. 